No, nor am I now, my lord. You played once in the university, you say? That did I, my lord, and I was accounted a good actor. What did you enact? I enact Julius Caesar. I was killed in the capital. Brutus killed me. It was a brute part of him to kill so capital a calf there. Be the players ready. I, my lord, they stay upon your patience. Come hither, my dear Hamlet, sit by me. No good, mother. Here's metal more attractive. <laughs> oh, do you mark that? Lady, shall I lie in your lap? No, my lord. I mean, my head upon your lap. Aye, my lord. Do you think I should make country matters? I think nothing, my lord. That's a fair thought to lie between the maid's legs. What is, my lord? Nothing. You are married, my lord. Who? I? I, my lord. Oh, God, you're only a jig maker. What should a man do but be married? For look how cheerfully my mother looks. My father died within two hours. Nay, tis twice two months, my lord. So long? Nay, then, let the devil wear black, for I'll have a suit of sables. Oh, heavens, then there's hope a great man's memory may outlive his life half a year. But, by our lady, I must build churches, then or else shall I suffer not thinking on, with the hobby horse, whose epitaph is for O. Oh, for O, oh, the hobby horse is forgot. Mary, this mitching Malico, it means mischief. Be like the show and force the argument of the play? We shall know by this fellow. The players cannot keep counsel, they'll tell all. Will it tell us what the show represent? Aye, or any show that you will show him. Be not you ashamed to show, he'll not shame to tell you by what it means. You are not, you are not, I'll mark the play. For us and for our tragedy, here stooping to your clemency, we beg your hearing patiently. Is this a prologue or the posy of a ring? Tis brief, my lord. As woman's love. Full thirty times hath be this cart gone round. So many journeys may the sun and moon make us again. Count your ear, love, be done. But woe is me, you are so sick of late, so far from cheer and from your former state. That I distrust, discomfort you, my lord, and nothing must. For woman's fear and love hold quantity, and neither ought or an extremity. Now what my love is, proof hath made you know, and as my love is size, my fear is so. Where love is great, the littlest doubts are fear. Where little fears grow great, great, love grows there. Faith, I must leave thee, love, and shortly too. My operant powers their functions leave to do. And thou shalt live in this far world behind, honored, beloved, and happily at one as kind for husband shalt thou. Oh, confound the rest! Such love must needs be treason in my breast. In second husband let me be accursed. Wormwood! Wormwood! 
The instances the second marriage move are based respects of birth, but none of love. A second time I kill my husband kisses me in bed. I do believe you think what now you speak, but what we do determine oft we break. Purpose is but the slave to memory, most necessary tis that we forget. What to ourselves in passion we propose, the passion ending, doth the purpose lose. The violence of either grief or joy their own enactors with themselves destroy. Grief joys, and joy grieves, on slender accident. This world is not for I, nor tis not strange that even our loves should with our fortunes change. For tis a question left us yet to prove, whether love be fortune or else fortune love. The poor advanced makes friends of enemies. For who not needs shall never lack a friend, directly seasons him his enemy. But orderly to end where I begun, our wills and fates do so contrary run, that our devices still are overthrown. So think thou wilt not no second husband wed, but die thy thoughts when thy first lord is dead. Nor earth to give me food, nor heaven light, sport and repose lock from me in day and night. To desperation turn my trust and hope, and anger's cheer in prison be my scope. Each opposite that blanks the face of joy, meet what I would have well and destroy. Both here and hence purpose, me lasting strife, if once a widow, ever I be a wife. If she break it now. Tis deeply sworn. Sweet, leave me here a while. My spirits grow dull and fain. I would beguile the tedious day with sleep. Sleep rock thy brain, and never come mischance between us twain. Madam, how like you this play? The lady protests too much, methinks. Oh, but she'll keep her word. Have you heard the argument? Is there no offense in it? No. No, they do but jest. Poison and jest. No offense in the world. What do you call the play? The Mouse Trap. Mary Howe, tropically this play is the image of a murderer in Vienna. Gonzago is the duke's name, his wife, Baptista. You shall see anon, tis a knavish piece of work, but what of that? Your majesty and we of that have free souls, it touches us not. Let the gallant jade wince when your withers are in rum. This is one Lucianus, nephew to the king. You're as good as a chorus, my lord. I can interpret between you and your love, if I can see the puppets dallying. You're keen, you're keen, my lord. It would cost you a great groaning to take off my edge. Still better, and worse. So you must take your husband's. Begin, murderer. Leave thy damnable faces and begin. Come thy croaking run doth below for revenge. Thoughts black, hands apt, drugs fit, and time agreeing. Confederate season, else no creature seen, thou mixed your rank of midnight weeds collected. With hectate's band, thrice blasted, thrice infected, thy natural magic and dire property. Unwholesome life usurped immediately. I poisoned him in the garden for his estate. His name's Gonzago. The story is extant and written in very choice Italian. You shall see anon how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. The king rises. What? Frightened with false fire? How fares, my lord? Give over the play. Give me some light. Away! Lights! 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 Why? Let the strucken deer go weep? The heart and gall play? For some must sleep. Thus runs the world away. Would not this, sir, in a force of feathers, if the rest of my fortunes turn Turk with me? With two provincial roses on my raised shoes, get me a fellowship and a cry of players? Half a share. A whole one. I dost thou know, O Damon, dear the realm dismantled, was aught Jove himself, and now reigns here a very, very Pajoc. You might have rhymed. O good Horatio, I'll take the ghost's word for a thousand pound. Disperceive? Very well, my lord. Upon the talk of the poisoning. I did very well, note him. Aha, come, some music. Come, the recorders. For if the king like not the comedy, why then be like he likes not purdy? Come, some music. Good, my lord, thou safe to me a word with you? Sir, a whole history. The king, sir. I, sir, what of him? Is it, is in his retirement marvelous distempered? With drink, sir? No, my lord, with collar. Your wisdom should show itself more richer. To signify this is to the doctor, 
For, for me, to put him with his pregnation would perhaps plunge him into more collar. Then Queen comes in, finds out she's dead, <laughs> and then comes in to console and hug her. Daniel, you go pick her up. I don't want this. Daniel, you go pick her up. <laughs> you stay off lovingly. I'm <laughs> <laughs>